Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we will see how to add the WooCommerce product filter in any WooCommerce website. In this example, we are using Astra theme and Elementor page builder plugin. And we have added a WooCommerce product filter in the right sidebar of the shop page. So this is the shop page and in the right hand side, you will see the product filter. Now here you will see the range slider. This is the price slider. If I change it to, let's say, 700 to 8900 it will show all the products which are above this 700 rupees if i scroll down and if i make it 15 to 2300 it will show all the products which are between rupees 15 and 2300 so this is how it is going to filter the products in the price range if i use this search filter i can let's say search for i and it will show all the products which is having this title eyebrow eyeliner edc so this is how you can add the search bar now here you will see on sale if i check it it will show all the products which are currently on sale so you may be having discount on these products and these are on sale products now here you will see the product categories so this is the filter for the product categories you will see all the products listed under this category now here you will see filter ratings. You can filter the products according to their ratings 4 to 5, 3 to 4, 2 to 3 and 1 to 2. So these are the product ratings. This is in stock. If I check it, it will show all the products which are currently in stock. If I reset it, it will reset all the filters and it will show the entire shop page. So this is a free WooCommerce product filter and it is compatible with any theme. It's not just for the Elementor or Astra theme. It, you can use it on any theme. You can create a sidebar and put a short code in the sidebar and it will show the product filter for the shop page. Now this plugin do have a pro version and pro version has many different added features. Let me show you an example of the pro version website. Here you will see the sidebar with the product filter this is the price range this is product categories and these are the colors if i select this color it will show the products which are having this color this is by brand and this is by season collection so different categories and different filters you can add this is product size according to the size of the product so it depends on what kind of website you are using. Weight, length, author, reset. So this, these are the features of the pro version. However, in this video, we will stick to the free version of this WooCommerce product filter. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website. We are also using Elementor plugin for the page builder and we are using Astra theme on this website. Now we are going to install a free WooCommerce product filter plugin. So let's start with the installation of the plugin. Go to plugins and go to add new. Here search for the plugin WooCommerce product filter. And you will see this plugin WOOF product filter for WooCommerce. So we are going to install this plugin. Click on install now. Meanwhile, you can see the more details. So these are the details of this plugin. So this plugin does have a premium version and you will see many added features for the premium version. So in this lecture, we are going to install only the free plugin. Let me close this one. The plugin is installed. Click on activate. So you will see the plugin here, click on settings. Now you here you will see the settings of this plugin. You can also go to WooCommerce and then go to settings and the last tab will be product filter for this plugin. 
now here you will see different options that you can use for the product filter you may see different fields you may see that search box is at the bottom so you can rearrange them if i click on it and it, i can drop it just below the search by price or i can rearrange it at the top so this is the search bar that you will see if you want to change something here you can simply click on additional options and here you can type in the placeholder search for product this is the placeholder that i have typed in click apply the second filter is search by price and this is on sale checkbox so right now you will not see anything i'm going to just keep it as it is save changes now we are going to add a product filter on the shop page now this is the default layout of the shop page on this website and we are going to customize this shop page in the right hand sidebar we are going to add the product filter so right now we do not have any sidebar so we are going to create a sidebar first so as of now i'm using astra theme you may be using another theme or you may be using elementor theme builder so you will need to go to the customization of the shop page and add the sidebar to the shop page so let's go to customize here i'm going to woocommerce and this is product catalog product catalog is nothing but the shop page and i want a right sidebar here so i'm going to select a right sidebar so here i have got the right sidebar however the columns are still four so i'm going to change the number of columns to three okay so we have got three columns shop page and here we have got a right sidebar now click on publish let's close this one and this is how the product shop page looks what we have got right sidebar now we will go to widgets go to appearance and then go to widgets so in the astro theme we have got a woocommerce sidebar if you are using any other theme you will see an option for the right sidebar so in the right sidebar you can add the product filter so here i'm going to click on plus sign and i'm going to search for wwof woof woocommerce product filter this is what i'm going to use so click on update and let's see how does this look refresh it and now here you will see right side product filter now let's see we have got this right side bar here let's go to widget we don't need to make any changes here we are going to make changes to the settings so let's go to woocommerce and go to settings and go to product filters tab okay now you will see the first option search by text this is the search for product you will see it here search for product is the is the placeholder now second one is search by price you can change it to the last option as eon range slider so you will see the range slider instead of typing the number you can have range slider here so right now it's showing everything let's filter it to 250 28900 so it will show all the products which are more than 250 rupees 250 and 250 so now I'm going to change the style to as Eon range bar and click save changes. Go back to shop, refresh it. And here you will see the range bar. Right now it is set to 250. If I change it to 500, you will see all the products which are above rupees 500. Now here we have different options. Go back. First one is Wu range slider. Save changes. Refresh it. And this is the Wu range slider. Okay, so I'm going to keep it on the last option that is Eon range slider. On sale checkbox. So here you will see the option on sale. If I check it, it will show the products which are currently on sale 
Okay, if I uncheck it, it will show the other products, all the products. Now this is a checkbox product visibility. This is for the product categories. You will see the product categories here. This is the product tags. Right now, I have not added any tags to any of the products. So if you are using tags for the products, you can use the product tags, this option. As of now, I'm not using anything. So I'm going to uncheck this one also. Featured check box, show the feature products check box. So if there are any products featured, then you can use this option featured check box by rating drop down. So this will be filter by rating. Let's save the changes. Refresh it. So now we have the search, the slider for the price, on sale, product categories. It will show all the products which are in the categories. Filter by rating. So it will show the products which are above four to five rating. So you can filter by ratings also. Now if I go back and go to the categories, categories, show toggle button, show toggle button near the top, use yes, show as closed, apply it and save the changes. So we are using toggle button now for the product categories, refresh it. And here you will see product categories is now having a toggle button. If I click on it, it will open all the categories. So I'm going to use no. If you do not see any of these option here on the general setting or the structure, you can go to this option extensions. Here you will see different extensions that you can add. This is search searching by author exclude in stock checkbox. Let's try this one. We are going to add this one. Okay. Now by rating is already there color. Now this is the feature of premium plugin. So we will need a premium plugin to use this color feature. So these are the extensions that you can add to the structure. So I'm going to add this one in stock checkbox and click save changes. Now, if, if I go to structure, you will see the newly added in stock checkbox. Just click yes and save the changes. Let's go back and refresh it. Now here you will see in stock option is already there. So we have added the WooCommerce product filter in the sidebar of the shop page and I'm using Astra theme. As I said, you can use this with any other theme or any other page builder. In case of page builder, you can use the short code WOOF. If you do not have any option to create widgets in your theme, then you can use the product short code that will be WOOF. So this is how you can use the free WooCommerce product filter on the WooCommerce website. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.